is I, and the analogy I use for my mental illness is tough on that. So you get a belt, and you add more strings, more colours, more straps to your belt. And that's what it's like to live with mental illness. I can sit there and take medication and go and talk to someone about it. But I'm not giving myself self the best opportunity to fight what I'm going through. So when I say find outlets, it's about finding more and more things each and every day, hence why I call this tour evolve or remain. Remain stuck in the mud or evolve and become a better person, be the best person you can be. So every day I'm trying to find things that I can add to my belt to become a better fighter, a fighter of my mental illness. And that might be colouring in at the age of 26, and I've just found a couple of weeks ago, I control my agitation, my anger. As I said, it's acceptance. I sit there and I want to get angry and I want to fight people, I want to hit people, or I can do something about it. Because I don't like feeling like that. I don't want to hit people, I don't want to hurt people, it's not me. So at 26 years of age, I am colouring flowers, keeping yellow, it gives a shit. I also find that the best ones in life, the best outlets for me, are the things that make me uncomfortable. If I stand on stage and talk in front of people when you've got anxiety. I just shit myself. But do you reckon that I can have a suicidal thought while I'm up here petrified? Not a chance. Same reason I took up boxing. Not to become a world champion boxer. Because how the hell do you have a suicidal ideation when you've got someone trying to punch you in the head? <laughs> you can't. I find that the best things in life are the ones that make me feel alive. And this definitely makes me feel alive. 